Hey everybody, Mr. Traveler here, and welcome guys back to our continuing series called Loyalty Matters. Today we're going to examine Royal Caribbean's loyalty program, better known as the Crown and Anchor Society. So we'll talk about all those benefits right after this. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us today. Uh, if we can help you plan that dream vacation, guys, please give us a call, 877-697-4470, or you can be reached at www.mr-traveler.com. You can book online or shop and then give us a call. All right, guys, so let's talk today to you about the Crown and Anchor Society, which is Royal Caribbean's loyalty program. So Royal Caribbean currently has six status levels within their Crown and Anchor Society. You start off at gold for having at least three points. And oh, by the way, this is just like uh, Carnival Cruise Line where you earn one cruise point for every day that you sail. Now, unlike Carnival, if you earned enough cruise points in the middle of your cruise to get to that next level uh, within the Crown and Anchor Society, you have to wait until you sail again to be able to take advantage of those benefits. For example, Mrs. Traveler and I uh, recently turned diamond last year uh, on the, uh, with Crown and Anchor in the middle of one of our sailings. I think it was like on day four. And unfortunately, we could not access those diamond benefits until we got on the very next Royal Caribbean ship. So that's something to consider. Also, taking into account the current COVID measures, uh, Royal Caribbean did have a sale going on for quite a few months there that if you booked by a certain point in the year for any sailings in 2022, uh, you could earn double and up to quadruple points with the Crown and Anchor Society. So what do I mean? So uh, a regular interior ocean view or balcony cabin typically will earn you one point per day per person that's in the cabin uh, to earn your status. Um, with the sale that they had going on, you could earn, that could earn up to two points per day. So it's a chance for you to get your status a little quicker. Uh, also during regular times, if you book a junior suite and up, you automatically earn two points for every day that you sail. And with the sale that Royal Caribbean had going on, that that point value was doubled and you could actually earn up to four points per day. So you really, really could stack on the points very quickly um, to get within that Crown Anchor Society benefit tier. So um, right now we're back to standard points. So again, one point for every ocean view interior or balcony that you sail on, two points for every junior suite and above. So the first level is gold and you have to have at least three points for that, which most of the uh, Royal Caribbean sailings are at least three days or greater so you'll earn that gold status after your first cruise the next tier status goes to platinum which is at 30 points after the platinum comes the emerald at 55 points and then kind of what's considered the sweet spot for the crown anchor society of the world caribbean is the diamond level at 80 points and we'll go into some of those benefits in a bit um, even better than that is the Diamond Plus at 175 points. And for you serious cruisers, 700 points get you to the Pinnacle Club. Man, that's a lot of cruises. So let's talk about it. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the benefits that are applicable to all the tiers going across. So first of all, each one of each one of those tiers will have Crown and Anchor onboard, um, uh, onboard offers um, that includes to past guest offers for maybe some discounts off the sailings. And, and of course, the more you sail, usually it's a little bit better of a deal. Um, C pass recognition. So you'll have a, uh, your C pass will be color coded based on your uh, status, your loyalty status. Uh, priority check-in. Um, and that's kind of sort of true as they, they do list that. Um, first of all, is during COVID times right now. So they're is really no priority check-in. The only thing that gets you priority check-in at this point is if you purchase the key or you have a suite. Um, 
regular normal times once we get back to those. Um, yeah, this is a gold platinum line. Um, it's like the regular line, okay? Uh, emerald is where you'll start seeing, uh, you'll see a different line for emerald, maybe a little bit shorter. When you get to the diamond and up is when you'll see um, really quick access onto the ship once we get back to normal uh, sailing times. So that's about it for the gold members. And that, again, all those benefits transpose across all the loyalty matters, uh, all the loyalty statuses uh, within the program. So going into platinum, um, what you pick up on there is uh, robes to use in the stateroom. And again, now these are uh, good benefits from uh, platinum all the way up. So you have robes for use on board. You do get a signature lapel pin when you get to their level. So uh, emerald is really not a whole lot of difference between uh, jumping from platinum to emerald. The, the big difference here is you'll start getting onboard amenities in your cabin, and they also start putting uh, complimentary water and snacks in your cabin uh, on your first day. So it's, it's not a daily thing, but when you first get on there, they'll be like, we've had a tray of cookies sometimes, sometimes it's been some strawberries, sometimes it's been a fruit basket, different things like that. And there's always uh, a few bottles of water in there as well um, as your recognition. Uh, token for the emerald. So usually we've had cookies, uh, fruit basket, strawberries sometimes, um, and of course the water is on there. And you get that on the first day. When you get in your cabin, it'll already be in your cabin for you. So that's the only difference um, with the emerald. So now going on to diamond. Now, diamond, like I said before, is kind of the sweet spot with the crown of anchor. So here you'll find that you really start getting into the um, the uh, express lines to get through your embarkation process a little faster. You also uh, have access now to the diamond lounge on all the ships. Uh, and in those diamond lounges, uh, you'll have a concierge in there during certain times of the day. Um, during the happy hour time, they'll usually have snacks in there and you know different things going on. So it's just kind of a private access place to go into. What's cool that's going on now with the COVID restrictions, I hope that they keep this process going. Prior to COVID, the Diamond members would get uh, drink coupons um, physically added onto their sale and sign card, right? So during the happy hour time, which may be between like five and eight, they could go to any uh, bar venue on the ship and get a free cocktail up to a certain value, dollar value amount. Usually it's like 15 bucks or something like that. Um, now what they've done for COVID is they've preloaded for the, for the diamond guests, it's actually four drinks on there and you can use those all day long. So on our last cruise that we were on, yeah, there were some times that we might have, we're not drinkers, so we may have a virgin pina colada or something with dinner or something like that, or sometimes a soda or a juice or something like that. But there was a couple of days where, um, we both went and got like four bottles of water each for our four drinks. So and then we just kind of stashed our water for a couple of days, which was, you know, kind of a cool thing to do. So I hope that they keep that part uh, of this uh, diamond benefit. Once these COVID restrictions are over, that it was really cool. There's also diamond events, so you'll get invited uh, just to select diamond uh, and up member events. Um, sometimes you can meet the captain there, senior staff. Um, they have hors d'oeuvres. They may have additional free beverages there. So it's you know, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing, you know. Um, also, they have an entertainment tour that comes along uh, with this, so you can see backstage how things uh, transpose for the for the shows on board the ship. And usually, it's the main theater. Um, right now, that is on pause because of the uh, COVID restrictions on most ships. Yeah, there may be a ship or two uh, that's an exception, but to our knowledge, as of right now, that has been put on pause. So going up to Diamond Plus, um, you also get a behind the scenes tour with the Diamond Plus. It may take you into areas like the kitchen um, and different areas with the, the behind the scenes workings of the ship. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, they have a concierge club. You have a personalized gift uh, for reaching your Diamond Plus level. Um, once you get to like 340 cruise points, there's some additional things that are added on there. You can have dinner with an officer. Uh, which is pretty cool to be able to sit down and just kind of pick the brain and figure out what's, what life on the ship is like. You get upgraded bathroom amenities. At a certain level, you also get a recognition 
uh, crystallized ship of the ship that you're on. So if you're on the Symphony of the Seas and you reach that milestone, um, you're going to get a commemorative gift. It's a really heavy lead crystal type of, uh, of uh, souvenir that they give you of the ship that you're on. So that's a pretty cool thing. You also get discounts on your Wi-Fi. Uh, and I got to kind of backtrack. That starts with the diamond. You'll get that discount with the uh, diamond. And then going forward, those increase for the Diamond Plus. So for the Diamond, you get a day, a free day of internet. And for Diamond Plus, it's two. So typically what we'll do is we'll, uh, we may not need, unless we need the internet for the entire time, we may get the internet package maybe halfway through the cruise. Um, so that way we get our free day and then we may end up paying for two or three days in there. And it just comes right off the, right off the balance. Or if you only need it for the one day to maybe check in for your airlines or whatever, it's complimentary once you get the Diamond. Once you get to that sweet pinnacle level, now you're talking, you have free Wi-Fi for your entire cruise. So like we had an opportunity to meet a gentleman called Super Mario, who basically lives on Royal Caribbean ships. Um, and he works remotely. And because of his pinnacle status, he got the free Wi-Fi so he can work from the ship and, and virtually go, uh, you know, without being interrupted with his business. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. Uh, of course, uh, the Diamond Plus and Pinnacle, you start getting uh, reserved seating in the theaters, um, uh, top of the list if you want special dining times. So, you know, if you're Pinnacle, you pretty much get whatever you want on board the ship. So if there's something that you want, you're Pinnacle, pretty much guaranteed that you're going to be able to, to, they're going to be able to make it happen for you. So anyway, guys, I uh, hope that you enjoyed this overview of the Crown and Anchor program that's with Royal Caribbean. Um, we really enjoy Royal Caribbean and their ships and their loyalty program is really great, especially if you're able to take advantage of those double points, those double and quadruple points. Uh, this year, you're going to see your statuses shoot way on up and you get to enjoy those free Wi-Fi and drinks and all that good stuff on board the ship. So I think that that's really cool. Um, I, I do prefer the Crown of Anchor member benefits over the Carnival ones at this juncture in time with the things that they have going. Primarily, I would say the uh, once you get to that diamond level and you have the free beverages is the real uh, is the real uh, winner for me here as as is the free day of internet. Because uh, if nothing else, you can check in for your flight, check up on a couple of things with that one free day of internet. Um, and of course, then you're able to take advantage of those drinks every day throughout the cruise. So to me, that's a real, real plus. Um, cause if I'm on a carnival and I have to, you know, I want to buy a soda or a juice or what with dinner every day, it adds up by the time you get to the end of the cruise, you might've spent a hundred bucks, uh, just on those type of things. And then those of you who know, if you, you know, drink alcoholic beverages, of course it can be much higher than that. So. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that you did enjoy this. Again, if we can help you plan that dream vacation, we usually do very well with Royal Caribbean Cruises. Uh, we'd love to talk to you. Give us a call at 877-697-4470, or we can be reached at www.mr-traveler.com. You can book online or go shopping around and then give us a call. Either way, we'd be glad to have you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Life's short, have fun. Go out and see the world and be blessed wherever you are. Bye, guys.